This man saw our conversation about his largesse in returning a very important football that uh, really didn't belong to him <laughs> until it was handed to him by Mike Evans. Mike him? Evans catches touchdown number 600 of Tom Brady's career, making Tom the only member of such a club in the great sport of uh, professional football. And uh, he had it and gave it back. I said, good for you. Mm, yes, you did. You both, Brockman and TJ, said, well, what, what's the matter? Hey, uh, pump your brakes. Yeah, yeah. Things worth $500,000. Why didn't I hold out for more? Hold out for more. Cash well, rules. he responded to that. He thanked me for supporting him. Yeah, you were on you were on his side. Yes, appreciate the de defense the defense on your show. We're on the same page. I'm sure you've heard that Tom, Mike, and the Bucks are taking care of me too. I immediately then uh, I guess technically slid into his DMs. Sure right. Did, I, I DM'd man. him and said, How'd you like to come on the show? And he said, Sure. And here he is, the man who had Tom Brady's six hundredth touchdown pass football placed in his hands by Mike Evans, and then he gave it back. Obviously for some items and money that he received, a Bitcoin. Byron Kennedy, Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan, here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Byron? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? I am better for talking to you, sir. I've got a lot of questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. First of all, first of all, good for you. All right? That's not a question. That's a declarative. Good mm. for you. Good for you. Thank you. Uh, have you been receiving a lot of grief for giving this football back for what you received, Byron? Um, not directly it's more comments that i'm reading on uh different posts from like the nfl and just everyone else who's covering this no one's actually reaching out to me and giving me grief okay um all the people reaching out to me are saying you did the right thing okay so let's walk through here whose seats were you in are those your seats they are not uh those are my buddy riley's seats um he has season tickets there and okay i was invited to this game with him and i'm glad i came so you are riley's plus one wow in exactly. these seats and walk me through uh what happened you're just sitting there cheering and mike evans decides to give you a ball because you were wearing 13 is that what happened exactly yeah exactly um the bucks had a great drive they went pretty much all the way down the field yep. um right and towards you then yep straight towards us um they were on the nine yard line and this looked like the touchdown. They threw it. Mike Evans caught it on about the one, fought into the end zone. And then I just started going crazy in the end zone, um, cheering as loud as I could. I looked around, was celebrating with the people around me. And as I looked back down at the field, Mike Evans is gesturing to get my attention, sprinting at me. And he jumps up into the stands, hands me the ball. I get to slap his uh, shoulder pads screen big mike and, <laughs> and then i got the ball okay at what point did you realize that he had handed you perhaps the most valuable football rarest of footballs in the history of professional football when did that dawn on you because it dawned on me right away that mike evans had just handed that ball to a fan and you're that fan when did it dawn on you that you had pass number 600 of tom brady's touchdown pass throwing career so it wasn't right away. Uh, Mike Evans and I were definitely on the same page. And <laughs> yeah, you've probably, I'm sure you've seen that video of him on the sidelines. And what? That was the ball? I yeah, right. Take the ball away, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. so we were on the same page. Um, and then I had told the story a bunch of times, and I couldn't put my finger on when I realized that that was a 600th ball. Um, but there were some Bears fans sitting next to me, and obviously everyone around me wanted to take pictures. Um, but I kept putting the NFL logo in the front when this guy was taking pictures and he kept turning the ball again and I put the logo back in front and he goes, no, no, I want the number at the bottom, the 138 to be showing in this picture because that shows that this is Tom Brady's 600 touchdown. And I think that right then is when I realized that it was his, wow. his 600 touchdown. Okay, so a Bears fan who had the sense and also a sense of <laughs> wanting to, uh, I guess, um, memorialize the fact that he was around such a special football is where it dawns on you that you are now in possession of it. What happened next, Byron? A um, couple of minutes later, someone from the team came over, a guy named Tim. I don't know if he's one of the trainers or if he works with Tom. I don't know exactly what his role is. Right. But he came over and was saying, uh, <laughs> can we get that ball back? Uh, this is an important one. Um, 
And I told him, him no a couple of times. Ah. He said, if we want it, um, I said, well, maybe if Tom personally comes over and asks for it, I'll hand it to him. Uh-huh. Um, that obviously didn't happen. We kept kind of going back and forth, and he's basically saying, Tom Brady really wants this football back. Mm-hmm. Um, we can get you signed jerseys, whatever you want. Uh, I'll get you another ball right now. Um, and I said, all right, you know what? Okay, Tom Brady can have it. He... He's the only person who's ever thrown 600 touchdowns. Yeah. Um, I haven't even watched 600 touchdowns be thrown, <laughs> much less thrown them myself. Uh, he, right. He deserves this ball. I'll give it back to him. Okay. So that happens. And um, what is it? So when did you have you received the, everything that uh, has been reported to uh, been given to you, like a signed jersey from Brady and a signed football from Tom? Right. No, uh, I haven't received anything that I didn't get at the game so far. Uh, they immediately handed me a different game ball. Okay. Uh, someone from their management came down and handed me a big gift card to the team store. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they took my address and phone number and name and all that stuff while I was at the game. And Monday afternoon, I got a call from the, the Bucks, and they said, we've been talking about you nonstop. Uh, this is what we're going to get you. It was the... Two signed Brady jerseys, one for me, one for my buddy. Mm-hmm. That was part of those negotiations y'all saw going on. Okay. I wanted to get him something because if he was sitting next to it's me. It's his well, ticket. You mean you're his plus like one. You, you you should get him at least a, a plus 12, right? Jersey. Okay. Exactly. All right. Um, so I'm getting that, those two. Uh, Tom Brady signed helmet. Uh, Mike Evans signed jersey. And Mike Evans signed cleats. Okay. And two season tickets for the rest of this season and next season. Okay. So that is what the Bucks decided to give me. Um, I think they're getting ready to send it because I just received an official letter on their letterhead and all, all right. that stuff. All right. So they should be sending that over pretty soon, I imagine. Okay. Where are the seats? Do you know where they are? I don't yet. Uh, I okay. asked him. He said, I, I don't exactly know, but I'm sure they're going to be pretty good. They're not going to put you up in the 300 section or anything. Uh, like I mean, we got to we, I mean, we so. we we get close to midfield at least. I mean, we got to get somewhere near there. But I don't know if they've got those lying around. You know what I mean? Like there's Exactly. They're I mean, probably all taken off. Those end zone seats were nice. Uh, that, that's true. I mean, Riley's got two pretty good uh, seats right there. <laughs> all right. I got Byron Kennedy here on the Rich Eisen Show. He, he was the one who had and then relinquished the Tom. Brady uh, football. When did you learn that you had a Bitcoin coming from Tom? How did that come into your possession? Or has it not yet? So, well, it hasn't yet. Um, I've been talking with Tom Brady's management team and okay. I'm filling out some forms because I think there's some tax implications I have to okay. have to worry about. Uh, all right. All right. Um, but I imagine it would come some point today. I learned about it because Tom Brady posted on his Instagram story saying, let's make a trade with uh, that FTX company that he's a part of. And then he posted on his Twitter saying, uh, hey, FTX, let's get this bot guy a Bitcoin. And they immediately replied, done and done, let's make a trade. So that was a couple hours before Monday Night Football. And then Tom Brady obviously told the nation about it when he mentioned it on Monday Night Football, too. Huh. Okay. Now then, I guess this is the most important question. You're engaged to be married, correct? Correct. Okay. Your fiance's name is what? Bridget. Bridget okay. Reinmuller. What does she think about you giving this stuff up for, you know, shirts and jerseys and hats and stuff like that? What does she think about this subject matter? Uh, she thinks I did the right thing. Her parents think I did the right thing. Okay. Um, okay. They all think I made the right move. Okay. Very good. All right. So uh, all said and done, um... You, you, you're, you're feeling good about all this, Byron? I am. And uh, I don't know if you had heard, but Mojo and uh, Gronk also are chipping in and trying to help me out, too. They're uh, giving me some – they're part of a Beyond Protocol, which okay. is another crypto, and they're giving me uh, a good amount of that, too. Okay. All right. Good things come to those who yeah. just cough it up. Brockman, you want to say something? I know well, you want to say something to okay. this guy earlier this week. Now he's right here. I've presented <laughs> right, him. Right, right. Let's, right. Let's By- hear it. Byron, all love. All love. Uh, knowing that your fiance is on board, your family is on board, and like Tom and Gronk are kind of hooking you up in the crypto game, which I am also a part of, I will stand down. I will stand down and congratulate you for what you did. <laughs> well, thank you. 
I mean, at the time, there was there was no guarantee I was going to get anything. So I understand where y'all were coming from. Okay. But it's all starting to work out. Well, Also, it seemed like it was such a whirlwind of how it happened. I can't imagine the emotions you were feeling. And then when it dawned on you that it was the ball, and then all of a sudden this guy is trying to convince you to just give it to him. So I'm sure that was a lot. And, you know, your head was probably a lot of, fo- you know, foggy. But I think it all worked out in the end. All right. Everybody. So, um, Byron, here's what I'm going to do here. Because I'm a Michigan man like Tom Brady. Um, I will give you um, either a Rich Eisen Show mug or $20 in our, 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 <laughs> our merchandise store, uh, which is the cost of the mug. So it's up to you. What do you what do you what do you what do you think, Byron? Can I? Can I'm, I give a, you? I'm a big coffee drinker. I would love Done. to drink a <laughs> cup of coffee with of a Rich Eisen face mug. on it every morning. All right, uh, and plus, <laughs> certainly, since if I'm not mistaken, you have just started um, internal medicine residency, correct? In in correct. Central yes. Florida there. Right. Yeah, uh, just in St. Pete in Tampa. Florida. Okay, so you're going to need a lot of late night, early morning uh, jolts of the Java. So let me let me provide you with uh, with the mug. How's that sound? I, that sounds fantastic. Bless I appreciate you. it. Oh, hey, Rich. Well, yes, before sir. you let him go, uh, I was talking to Byron yesterday. Yes. He shared kind of the same thoughts we did about the gift card from the team shop. If you want to, okay, ask him about. Okay, it. yeah, I, we think oh. we think we think uh, we should get a little bit more than a thousand bucks from the bucks. To be honest with you, you know, what's what we think the team store. So. I was I'm, I had a uh, theory that that's probably the biggest gift card that they have. They didn't have another one to give to me, unless they just started handing me a bunch of gift cards. I love it, fantastic. I feel like they probably gave me the biggest gift card that they have. All right, Byron Kennedy, um, thanks for the call, man. Congratulations on your 15 minutes of fame and doing the right thing with it. I thought you did the right thing, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You bet. That's Byron right, Kennedy Byron. right here on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> that was great. Seems like a great guy. I think so, too. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.